Never in a million years did I ever think I'd be out this far. Trying to help you find your way. Fact is, you're just running from the world. This move is not just for me. It's for us, it's for both S of us. Save it, Dad. In a couple of years, when I turn 18, I'm going back to Chicago. Dylan, you are a stupid, ignorant city kid. I'm ignorant? Really? I can't stay here! Dylan! What do you want from me? I want to talk. I'd rather take my chance with whatever's out there than spend one more second with you! Oh, get up. Lean back. Lean back. Oh, what is it? What is it? It's a, it's a trap. I'm coming in. Don't try anything. I'm armed. What is wrong? The camper was broken into, Dad. They took my other gun. Amazing little store back in Jackson. Yeah, I still can't believe they had your favorite cookies right there on the shelf. You know, I looked for those things for a long time. You know, I figured that company had gone out of business or something. And then we walk into a store and there they are sitting on a shelf in Jackson. Go figure, right? Did I ever tell you about the time I was on that stakeout in Seattle? I was in a van for three days straight and it rained the entire time. I mean, it didn't let up for a minute. <laughs> Crazy. You know, they, they say that, that it rains all the time in Seattle. It's not true. The heaviest rainfall in the United States is in Pensacola, Florida, and Mobile, Alabama. But you didn't know that. There's a myth, actually, that, that people in Seattle created that whole myth about that being the rainiest city in the world, just to keep people from California away. Dylan. Are you seriously not listening to me? <laughs> Figures. Guess I'll listen to some music. There's a challenge that doesn't seem fair. Oh, I swear. Everybody hey, has heart. Dylan. Hey. What? It's alive. It's a miracle. Thank you for joining the rest of us here. <laughs> I was just thinking, might be time to grab something to eat. Why don't you grab some of that fruit that we got at the store a while, a while back? I'm not hungry. Come on, you need to eat something, all right? It's time to eat. I'm fine. You didn't even eat breakfast, okay? Get something to eat. I don't have much of an appetite, Dad. With being kidnapped and all. Plus, this tenement on wheels doesn't exactly make me want to eat. Well, look, I am hungry, okay? Will you grab me a banana, please? Thank you. Hey, 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 don't put those back on. What? 
I'd like to talk to you for at least a minute. Do we have to? I'd like to be like a normal father and son. I know this is not easy, picking up and moving all the way across the country, okay? But this is gonna be good for us. This is gonna be good? Maybe for you, but how could this be good for me? Look, I get it, leaving Chicago is not easy. But hey, I grew up there myself. I studied there, I met your mother there. So I get it, but this is an opportunity for both of us to get a fresh new start, especially after everything that's happened. I don't know if you know this, Dad, but right now, I just legally have to be here. That's the only reason I am here, okay? <laughs> I have no interest in raising chickens and growing vegetables, okay? And all of this packing up and moving to Oregon to some random farm, and it, it's all on you. <sighs> In a couple of years, when I turn 18, I'm going back to Chicago to hopefully reclaim what's left of my life there. <sighs> Dylan, this move is not just for me. It's for us, it's for both of us. Save it, Dad. Seriously, I know why we're actually going. And no, it's not for the greater good of our family. Whatever's left of it. What is that supposed to mean? Dad, everyone knows you're afraid of everything. That you find a conspiracy theory under every little rock, behind every tree. I, it's crazy. Fact is, you're just running from the world. Running from the world. Yeah, okay. It's what Pop said. Oh yeah? Well, your Pops is wrong about that, all right? I wouldn't call it running from the world, I would call it looking out for our better interests, all right? Dad, I don't want to hear it anymore, because I already heard it, okay? I've already heard that you think that the world has gone to the dogs and how it's not safe to go anywhere or do anything anymore. Okay, I don't know how much longer I could take any of these insane theories. That's how you feel? Well, I've told you all this before back in Chicago. Oh, but obviously you didn't hear me then. Like you never hear me. Two more years, okay? Two more years is all you have me for. And I'm gone. I'm never gonna see you again. Hey, Dylan. Dylan, do me a favor and check on your cell phone. See where we are. Don't tell me we're lost. No, we're not lost. I know basically where we are. I just want to know how close we are to the next town. Kind of tired. I'd like to rest. Yeah, well, that's great, because we have no reception. Really? No signal? Well, no, Dad. We're out in the middle of nowhere. Never in a million years did I ever think I'd be out this far with you, trying to help you find your way. All right. Then try this. <laughs> now, what do you want me to do with this? <laughs> find where we are. Look, open this up. We're about 50 miles outside of Jackson, somewhere in this area. See if you can find something that looks familiar. Dad, I have no idea how to use one of these things. Look, right there, look. It's upside down. Okay, I don't know, this is so stupid, I don't... Hey, hey. What are you doing? I am going to pull off so I can get a better look at that map and see if this guy knows where we are. Dad, what if he's a serial killer or one of those religious types? Who's the conspiracy theorist now? How you doing? Oh, howdy. 
Sure is a mighty fine looking house on wheels you got there. Yeah, well, thank you. Listen, I was wondering if I might be able to get a little bit of help from you. I don't want my boy to know, but I'm lost, okay? I was looking for the exit to Davenport, and I think I missed it a ways back, and the best I can figure, we're somewhere in this area here. Davenport, you say? Hmm. Well, you know, I walk these roads most of my days, and uh, yeah, you, you missed your exit. <laughs> Not your fault, though. Most people do. See, about, I don't know, a few years ago, Big Semi took out the exit sign to Davenport, just ripped it right clean out of the ground, and it sure does seem like they're not in any big hurry to get it put back. <laughs> seems like, <clears throat> seems like things don't, don't get done too quick around here. <laughs> but uh, now the way I see it, you got two choices. You can either go back the way you came, about 30 miles to the Henry exit, just look for the big red barn, take a left, and it'll take you right on into the heart of Davenport, and Henry's about, oh, 40 miles on the other side. Okay. <laughs> or, or you could. <laughs> I was wondering about you that could, second choice. You, yeah. could, <laughs> you could just carry on about five miles this way, take the Davenport turn off, and it takes you right through the town. It's a shortcut, and it takes about 40 miles off your journey. Well, that's a no-brainer. So just follow this road five miles, follow the other side to Davenport. That's the way I'd go if it was me. Well, thank you. I really appreciate it. Okay. Um, can my boy and I, can we give you a ride somewhere? Well, you know, it sure is a, a day of deep gloom, and darkness, heavy uh, clouds, and deep blackness. Excuse me? But the Lord is my light and my salvation, and of whom shall I be afraid? No, uh, I don't need a ride. I have walked these roads almost all of my days, and... and uh, you know what? Here, like I said, I really appreciate everything. The least I can do is give you a little something for your help. Oh, no, no. And for your journey? No. It sounds like your journey is very important, so... Thank you, sir. Uh, but I, I, I don't, I don't, I have all everything that I need. And if I have more needs, the Lord always provides. You sure? Okay. All right. Well, thank you again. I really appreciate it. Yeah. As they were walking along the road, someone said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. So you follow him, young man. Surrender to his ways and he will always make straight path before you. I will try to remember that. Take care. Which one was he? A religious nut or a serial killer? Just a harmless old man. to see you smile again. Did you do it more often? Well, I used to smile all the time back in Chicago. There it is. Just like the old guy said. A new road to Devonport. Are you sure about this? Yeah, it looks wide enough. Well, uh, I think we'll be okay. And he said it's a shortcut, right? Well, as long as we don't hit any potholes or get stuck between some trees, then I guess. Well, it's your sense of adventure. Come on, what do you say, partner? You know, it's bad enough having to listen to all your whiny country music. I don't want to hear you talk like one either. Guilty as charged. I don't know, I guess you're the driver, you can call the shots. Then I say saddle up, partner. Let's hit the trail.
So, as the old proverb goes, slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> but see, this isn't so bad, is it? I guess not. Hey, did I ever tell you about the time I had to drive an old rusty Pinto through a minefield in Texas? <laughs> What was that? I don't know. An earthquake, maybe? Are you okay? Yeah, I I'm fine. That was, that was that was just intense. Here you were thinking today couldn't get any better. Maybe the people in Davenport know what happened. What's wrong? We'll start. Check your phone. Dad, I've already told you, we're out in the middle of nowhere. I'm not talking about the signal. Check it to see if it'll turn on. Oh, that's strange. I had a lot of charge this morning. What? Uh, Dad? What? Watch, it's dead too. What is going on? No. No, it can't be. Can't be what? An EMP. An EMP? It's an electromagnetic pulse. But why out here? Oh no. What? EMPs can happen naturally, but primarily they're used as weapons. A weapon? Yeah, but I'm just, you know what, I'm overthinking this. There has to be a more simple reason. Like what? I don't know, I don't know. Let me try this again. Sit tight, I'm gonna check the engine. Not the engine. Dad, I, I've been thinking. Why don't we just take off on foot right now? No, no. I've been thinking too. It's almost dark. We're about halfway between Jackson and Davenport. This is a road. Somebody might pass by, okay? And if not, then we'll reevaluate in the morning. Dad, if we leave right now, we could probably make it. Son, <laughs> I know you're a little bit scared, all right? But we're just going to stay here tonight. Dad, I don't want to stay here. Dylan, I have a lot more experience in situations like this, okay? The first mistake people make is they abandon their vehicle. We're not gonna make that mistake. Dad, if we- Dylan! Dylan! I am the adult here, okay? I've made up my mind we're staying here and that is final. Where are you going? You might wanna stay here tonight, but this kid is going for help. Dylan, you are a stupid, ignorant city kid. You wouldn't survive two minutes out here in the dark. Now sit back down, now. I'm ignorant, really? Okay. I can't stay here. Dylan, wait. Where do you think you're going? Dylan! What do you want from me? I want to talk. Talk? Talking is all you've done since we left yesterday. Since you kidnapped me. Where are you going? Away from you! You can't go away from me. It's gonna be dark soon, all right? You can't, you can't go out there by yourself. What? You think I'm afraid? I'd rather take my chance with whatever's out there than spend one more second with you. Just leave me alone. Dylan, I hear you. We have to stay here tonight. 
and do what? Build a campfire, make s'mores, and sing kumbaya? Dad, you knew I didn't want to be here with you, but you didn't listen to me. You should have left me back with Pops and my friends. Because the more I'm with you, the more I hate you. I love you. You can hate me if you want, but please trust me. I would never let anything happen to you, son. We'll get some rest, and tomorrow we will head into Davenport. Together. make all kinds of noises at night. Did I ever tell you about the time that I had to track down a rogue mountain in the Northwestern Territories of Canada? Dad, if someone were to come up here tonight to us, how would you, you know? Protect us? I got that covered. I was the top shot in my graduating class. And I'm not afraid to use it if I have to. Do you always carry one of those? Because of my old line of work, I never go anywhere without them. Can I teach you how to use one? No, thanks. I'm not particularly fond of them either. But it's good to know how to use them, especially these days. For times like this where you might have to protect yourself. So you're not a fan of my stories? I never said that. <laughs> yeah, you kind of did. You used to love my stories back when you were little and cute. Sorry, but I grew up. Yes, you did. And the girls, they still find me cute. <laughs> I'm sure they did. Cooking these dogs reminds me of the past. Remember how your mom always wanted to pray before we ate? Can we please not talk about her? Okay. You know, back when I was in college, I didn't have a lot of money. So most evenings, it was a choice between three or four packs of ramen noodles, if you know what those are, or two of Joe's hot dogs. Joe's Diner was a, a dive close to the college, but the best hot dogs on planet Earth. <laughs> yeah, most nights I found myself watching a lot of these bad boys right here. Why can't we talk about your mama? Come on, you know why. Dylan, what happened was nobody's fault. Come on. Okay. But one day, son, soon, we've got to talk about it. We've got to talk about what happened. You know, I'm not that hungry. I'm just gonna go to bed. Hey, 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 wait a second. It's not even dark yet. What time is it? I wouldn't know. Hmm. 
so you're still the trendsetter you ever were. Say what you will about the hat, back off on the cowboy boots. You won't find anything better for your feet. We get to Oregon, I'm gonna buy you some. Yeah, please. All right, let's do this. You know, you look like one of the village people, right? <laughs> Looks like the rain's clearing out. That's good for us, for sure. All right, stop. Stop right here. According to this, Davenport is in that direction. Wait, how can you tell that? You don't even have a compass. Well, you see where this road curves here? That was about a half a mile back, so... The way I see it, we can cut about 20 miles off of our journey if we make a beeline for town straight through here. And you're sure we're not gonna get lost in all these trees? Will you have a little faith in me, please? Well, Dad, you did have to stop and ask an old man for directions yesterday. Well, I learned that from your pops. He always said, always know exactly where you're going, and if you're not sure where you're going, don't be afraid to ask. You're the expert, so. Come on. Follow me. So if I'm correct, there should be a clearing right up ahead. And here we are. You impressed? I guess so. Ah, much easier. Holding up okay? <laughs> well, Dad, I gotta say, I'm impressed. Thank you. If we keep this pace up, I think we're gonna hit Davenport by nightfall. I'm looking forward to a hot shower. Dad, about yesterday. It's okay. It's like it never happened. Oh! 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 Lean back. Oh, what is it? What is it? It's a, it's oh. a trap. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Lean carefully. Oh. Dad. Oh, no, 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 no. Are you okay? Oh, oh no. my gosh. Oh, oh no. my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh no. We gotta, we gotta get your foot out of here. We gotta get your foot out of here. Carefully, carefully. Oh my gosh. Oh, some kind of an animal trap. Dad. Hold on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh no. You gotta pull it out. I know I can't do that. You gotta pull it out, son. You can't. Do it. Just do it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No! I can't do it. We gotta get your boot off. So stupid! It's we gotta get your boot no, off, Dad. We can't take it off, son. We'll never get it back on. You're bleeding! It's okay. Look, I don't think it's too bad. Hold on. I gotta go get help. I gotta go get I, I gotta can't. go. Hey! You'll get lost. We're gonna have to go back where we started. We've got to. We don't have any choice. You gotta help. You gotta help stay, me up. Stop, stay. <laughs> Sit right there. What are you doing? Slowly, slowly, slowly. Watch the hole. Uh, no. Okay. Hold on. Come over here. I got you. I got you. Hold on. Are you good? I'm good. Come on. Hold on. Take it slow and steady. Uh, yeah. Okay. 
You did good, son. I'm proud of you. Thanks. Let's get a better look at this, okay? Can you help me? Take the boot off? Yeah, we can do that now. Going slow, okay? okay. All right, go. Go. Okay. okay. Go. 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 I'm sorry. Go. Go. Oh. Go. Yeah, that's bad. Tis but a scratch. I've had worse. Monty Python, right now, really? Oh, man. I know you're not a big fan of these boots, but I think these boots saved me today. Yeah, well, I think you're right, but don't expect me anytime soon going out and buying them when all this stuff's over. All right, up here on the top shelf, I've got a medical kit. I need to get a needle and thread. You're gonna have to stitch me up. I'm sorry? You're gonna have to stitch me up. I can't do it. Dad, I don't know. I don't think I can sew you up. Hey, do you want to be a doctor? I do. I did, but I... Let's go. Get it out. Dad, I... I can't. <laughs> you don't have to stitch me up. Just get some gauze, some tape, and some alcohol, and we'll be good. <laughs> Jokes aren't funny right now, Dad. Sorry. Dad, you know, I really wish you'd reconsider. Dylan, we've been through this. I know. You say I'm going to get lost in the woods. But, Dad, I wouldn't take the woods. I'd use the road. And what, walk for 40 or 50 miles? That would take you 13 or 14 hours. That's if you don't take any breaks, all right? No. You're staying here with me. Hopefully this leg will get better. We can try this again tomorrow. You okay? Yeah. God, I just, I can't believe I was that stupid. <laughs> I know, Dad, you're right. First you have to stop and ask an old man for directions. And now there was an incident with a trap in the woods. Dad, I hate to break it to you, but you're aging fast. <laughs> I think it's only downhill from here. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> I got an idea. What do you say about a fish fry tonight? You know, you look mighty fine today. Are you knocking on my outfit again? I bought this just for you. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> How'd you find this spot? It's really good. I saw it on the map yesterday. I was thinking ahead. You know, I can't remember the last time we went fishing. Oh, I can. It was me, you, and Pops up in Elk Lake. That's right. We had fun that day. Hmm. I remember your pops taking me and your Uncle Jimmy fishing all the time. You know, you and pops, I never talk about Uncle Jimmy. Well, your Uncle Jimmy, he was a couple of years older than me. <laughs> he was such a good kid. God, we laughed all the time. Used to get in a lot of trouble. Not too much trouble, your pops being a cop and all, but... Your Uncle Jimmy got mixed up with the wrong crowd, though. I was just a little bit older than you when your grandmother passed. It was just about that time that... Jimmy and your pops started arguing all the time. There's a long period there, I just remember them screaming and yelling. Finally, Jimmy left home. Pops told him he couldn't come back, and I wasn't even allowed to see him. Jimmy would sneak over every once in a while. In the middle of the night, I would sneak out of the house. We would go drink a six-pack of beer. Neither one of us rolled enough to drink. I didn't even like the beer. It was just a good excuse to hang out with my older brother. You know, I think Pops 
thought that Jimmy was going to give in somehow, come running home with his tail between his legs. No, sir, not your Uncle Jimmy. He was not cut out like that. I think he felt like he had something to prove, maybe. And he did for a while. He had a lot of money. Nice jewelry, cars, women. But it all came with a price. Your Uncle Jimmy had all that money because he was dealing. Drugs? Yep. My brother, the drug dealer. Look how long ago that was, and it's still, to this day, it doesn't even sound right. I still don't believe it. I always thought it would, had to be some kind of a lie. There's no way my brother was dealing drugs. But... Then one day he got mixed up with a really bad crowd. A little bit of time went by, I couldn't get in touch with him at all. And one day we got a phone call. They found his body washed up on the shores of Lake Michigan. Play with snakes, one day they're gonna turn around and bite you. That was the only thing your pop said the day of his funeral. Your pops loved your uncle. And Jimmy loved him back, but uh, boy, they had some kind of relationship. Something died inside your pops that day. And I made a decision I was never gonna do that to him. That's why I became an agent. I wanted to follow in his footsteps. I just didn't want to see my daddy hurt like that ever again. What about all this? Running away and... This is different, Dylan. Hey, 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 you got a bite. You got a bite. Let's get it, let's get it. Sweet. Whoa, what look you got? At look it. at that, nice. Oh, That's a nice bass. Hey, a bass? First fish of the day. Oh, sweet. All right, oh. let's get it in that bucket. You got him. There so. you go. Is that That's how you do it? That's how you do it. Nice. <laughs> Go on in. Sweet. Let's get that line back out there. Hey, like Pops always said, when there's one fish, there's got to be more. That's exactly right. That is awesome. Good job, Poppy. Watch that's messy. Here, come on. We have enough fish for like three meals. This is great. Now fry these things up with some butter tonight. Mmm. Mmm. Dad, how is this any different? I'm sorry? Well, you said that Pop's heart was broken when Uncle Jim left. And now me and you are moving across the whole country, and now he's lost me and you. We can go visit your pops anytime we want. And he can come visit us, all right? I actually asked him if he wanted to move with us. But you know your grandfather. He can be a very stubborn man. Oh, well, like father, like son. I can say the exact same thing about you. In my line of work, I've seen things. Just trust me. Like what? One thing at a time, son. Do we got any chips in this cooler? I don't think I brought any chips. Well, I guess I'm gonna go back to the camper, grab my hoodie, and maybe some chips. 
Okay. Anything? Yeah, grab me a bottle of soda. Okay. Oh, man. Be careful. Yep. I know you're in there. I'm coming in. Don't try anything. I'm armed. No, it's me. What is wrong? The camper was broken into, Dad. We've been robbed. They took most of the food, some medical supplies, and a few blankets. If more for my foot, I would go after them right now. I just don't get it, Dad. How could they have possibly gotten in here? Did you not lock it before we left this morning? That's my bad. I just figured we're out here in the middle of nowhere and I didn't lock it. Sorry. Great. They took some of my clothes too. Wait a second. Wait. They didn't find mom's necklace. That's good. It can't be more than one or two people. There are no tracks out here, so they're on foot. So they couldn't have carried much. Let's just get this place cleaned out and fry up that fish. Oh, oh no. Excuse me. Oh, no. What? They took my other gun. You awake? You've been listening to me. Dad, no, please, no, 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 no. I don't know, I don't know what to do. I need to go get help. Hello? Anybody there? Just, I wanted to see if you could help. My dad, he's really sick. Why didn't you say so? Come on, boy, don't just stand around. Help me get my stuff packed up. Stop right there. Don't, don't. Oh, my. Are you alone? Are you alone? Yes, we are alone. Your bags, drop them on the ground in front of you. And open them. All your food, water, medical supplies, put it in the bag. Go! He's right in here. Oh, boy. Oh, he's burning up. Oh, boy, that is infected. Is there anything you can do? No, I can't help him, but I do know who can. <laughs> 